Hey, what's up everybody? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge coming to you today in audio format before I get ready for work. So uh, I didn't want to let too much time pass without talking about Kiara Hogan because a lot of people have been leaving comments on other videos talking about the Kiara Hogan situation. Remember, this is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan, so consider hitting that subscribe button if you're here and give it a thumbs up. So let's talk Kiara Hogan. Kiara Hogan... Uh, first of all, what's been reported by her is that this is her last set of Impact tapings. The rumors have come out there that she and uh, Kira, uh, sorry, excuse me, Tasha Steeles uh, will be breaking up during this set of tapings. Um, Fire and Flavo, two times knockouts tag team champions, they won the tournament, uh, lost them probably for no reason, lost the titles for no reason, uh, gained them back. And lost them again. So because of the way that this division is being handled right now, what is there left for them to do at this point? Like they probably should have just had one long title reign. And then if you take the titles off them, you can you can bring them back. But that goes to show some of the problems within a division when you have a hard time creating uh, engaging stories for the women outside of the title picture. Uh, when the champions do lose titles, it's kind of like, well, what are they going to do now? Like imagine if... Diana Perrazzo lost a knockouts championship, um, and then maybe lost her rematch. What the what the hell would she do? You know what I mean? So that's something they have to work it work out within the knockouts division. Now she has said it's her last set of tapings. We don't know if she's leaving on her own accord. We don't know if she's asked for her release. We don't know if she's being released. Kiara is one of the true homegrown stars on this roster. If you really look at this roster top to bottom. You can look at Rohit Raju, who they've built up very well. You know, Jake something, we're getting there. There's a, there's a couple guys, Josh Alexander, obviously, but Kiara Hogan has been around since the TNA days, the, the end of the TNA days. Remember, she won her debut match against Laurel Van Ness, Chelsea Green, who has just returned. So, uh, obviously, they can't do anything there. But when she first came to the company, I didn't think she was going to do a whole lot. I am not going to lie to you guys. You know, if you remember MJ Jenkins, who was kind of a similar athlete, when she came in, people were excited about it. Uh, she wrestled one or two matches and she was gone. And I, I honest to God, thought Kiara Hogan was going to be in this same category. I wasn't familiar with her prior. I don't think many were. Uh, I thought she was going to show up. You know, I thought her acting chops were pretty bad at first. I thought she was going to show up and do a set of tapings and be done. And here we are years later. She has grown into a tremendous performer. Great in the ring. Her, you know, promos as a heel were excellent. I didn't really enjoy what she was doing with Madison Rain at first. But the Fire and Flavor stuff has been good. They've had tremendous chemistry. And I don't know what, what's next for, for Tasha Steeles, but I guess that's a conversation for another day. But for me, this wasn't one of the girls you want to lose. She never had a knockouts title run. I don't even know she ever wrestled for the knockouts championship. I'm sure she had some kind of throwaway match here or there, but never a compelling angle for the title. She would have been a great champion. And this is, this is, you know, one of the problems we kind of still see within the company is that some of the dudes, some of the girls over the years who have been really, really working hard, building up their characters, coming a long way, they, they don't get those title runs, you know, they don't get those matches. It's it's always kind of who comes from another company, um, who, who's going to be the biggest name we can put the belt on. That That's what happens more often than not. Not every time, but more often than not. And it sucks that we didn't get that. As much as we say, oh, the knockouts wrestled the same girls. Gianna Prazo doesn't have any opponents. I mean, she hasn't had any kind of angle with Tasha, uh, with Kira Hogan. You know, there, there was nothing like that there. So, you guys, I'm sure, are going to leave all your thoughts in the comments regarding Kira Hogan. Uh, who knows what's next for her? Her, her lady, Diamante is in AEW. She no longer has a tag team partner because Eva Lise has been released. So it would seem like a natural fit, and especially because she is television talent, you know what I mean? 
Like she, she deserves to be there. So I would imagine if there's room in the division for her, that it would work out for her. But it's another problem within a knockouts tag team division, which I was a big you know, supporter of them bringing this division on to begin with. And they haven't been able to maintain the teams. They haven't keep been, keep, been able to keep the pairings together, whether it's because of contract, whether it's because of the way the stories have been written. They just haven't been able to do it. And we've obviously got new names coming in. So there may be a couple cuts coming with that. You know, it just depends what, uh, what kind of contracts they are, who these people are coming in. But this was a talent that Impact really needed to hold on to and say, yo, you can really be the future of our division. Uh, whatever we were paying you on the last contract, we're going to improve that with this one. You know, this this is a real talent that people were connected to. So, again, we don't know if she was released. We don't know if she asked to be released. She seemed emotional in that little blurb that came out from her only OnlyFans. You know, there was a sad face emoji. And Fire Flava had a good thing going, you know? It just sucks that it wasn't a, a longer run. And I don't, I don't know what Tasha Steeles is going to do next because... When I saw her in NWA, I don't think she was... I wasn't super impressed with what they were doing with her. Granted, completely different company, and she doesn't fit what they do. But now she's going to have to establish herself as a single star, which she hasn't been since she's come to the company. She's been part of Fire and Flava the entire time. So now she has a new challenge ahead of her. But this also means, like, you've really got to give us some, some girls in this knockouts division that we can get excited about. We don't know if Chelsea Green what her situation is. She might just be wrestling between Impact and Ring of Honor and just be with both companies going forward. That's, that's perfectly fine. We're probably going to get a lot of that going forward, guys. When we see these signings, these people coming in, you know, that's probably what Impact is going to be pitching to these guys. You know, we, you know, hey, we do uh, access TV. We don't do phenomenal numbers, but we're going to give you the opportunity to wrestle wherever the hell you want. You know, before it was the indie scene and now it's other television programs. So that's just probably what's going to happen. It's going to probably be a bit of a revolving door with the company and the roster. That's just that's just what I think it is. But we, um, then you know, I say this a lot. We need more knockouts, and I understand maybe it's a money thing, but you can't have a, a knockouts division with just a few gals in it. It's gotta it's gotta improve, and we gotta form teams and put teams together and keep them together for the long term. And just you don't have to be. It just seems like uh. If you're not wrestling for the tag team titles, they don't want to make you a team with somebody. Like, just start pairing the girls up like you did prior to the knockouts division, where everyone was getting really excited because everyone had their little, you know, partners and everything. So that's what I've got for you guys. We'll see what happens with Kira Hogan going forward. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I am your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.